Hey, Joe here. Today, I'm gonna to be installing my ethanol content sensor. It's gonna go in line on the return side of the fuel system, right in this area. Um, what I'm gonna do is cut the stock return line. I'm gonna cut a section out of it, and I'm gonna put the ethanol content sensor uh, in that gap. So then I still retain the very tip of the factory return line, so I can go from my regulator to that factory return line the ethanol content sensor will be kind of down here on the firewall where it's out of the way and uh, then I'm going to go ahead and get it set up an ECM link. Alright, so I went in the engine bay and I cut this fuel return line down near the bottom of the firewall and so I could get it out of there and wor work on it here where I you know, can get a hold of it good. I'm gonna now cut it right around here um, and I'm gonna use rubber hose on each end to put the ethanol content sensor in line. Some E85 compatible uh, fuel line I had laying around. I'm gonna use this. Let's see if we can figure out where I want to put the sensor. Are you still using the sensor as a middle finger? Or can I have it back now? You can have it back. Here, take this. Okay. Here's your ethanol sensor. <laughs> And then we'll go measure it up. Let's measure this up again. Plug the plug to reach. It's right at the swerve. What's that, Joe? You plugged your awesome cable into your awesome new sensor on your awesome car? <laughs> yep, got it plugged in down here. A little tight down here, but it makes for much more room up here. All right, so I need to put this back on. What is that, Joe? This is the brake booster hose. Has a check valve in it, a one-way check valve. It's important. Remember that. So it's like from the Czech Republic? Oh, it's from the old country, Czechoslovakia. All right, I got the check valve in, installed and um, I'm gonna use these Slovakis to tighten this up. I guess I'm not actually tightening anything. 